When we were 20, wrote Jean-Paul Sartre in 1946, we heard about the skyscrapers. We discovered them in amazement in the movies. They were the architecture of the future, just as cinema was the art of the future. By then, Hollywood movies were already linked more tightly to skyscrapers than to any other kind of building. Both skyscrapers and films were larger than life and intoxicatingly new, and they both cost a fortune. Both were pioneered in the late 19th century, and both flourished in the years leading up to World War II, by which time the connection between them was already strong. In James Sanda's book, Celluloid Skyline, New York and the Movies, he notes that some of the very earliest films, such as The Skyscrapers, 1906, 